Hi, welcome to this week's episode of NBTV. You've got a great bite-sized bit to help you grow this week, less about your business. I'm coming to you from United States Penitentiary in Alcatraz. I'm at The Rock, just a mile and a half off the San Francisco shoreline. And this, of course, was the home for 30 years of the most secure prison in the United States. It housed such famous convicts as Al Capone, uh, Robert Stroud, the Birdman, and, of course, Frank Morris, who led the event, famous escape that was the subject of the Clint Eastwood film, Escape from Alcatraz. It's been a tremendously uh, interesting morning here on The Rock, the uh, audio tour of the cell house in particular. Um, really fascinating, really kind of brought home with a kind of grim reality, just what life, daily life was like for those convicts that were incarcerated here. But you know, it, it occurs to me, I had a couple of potential topics for this episode from Alcatraz. Um, and I was going to do one on, on, on selling, did, did you get it? Yeah, selling. Um, but actually something much more profound occurs to me as uh, we've gone on this tour today. Because um, well, as well as being obviously locked up and in a secure environment, um, one of the most depressing things for me about this whole place was the unrelenting uh, routine and regime that the people lived in. I'm sure had I been here, it would have been one of the hardest things personally for me to cope with would have been this um, same routine, the same things, the same time, day after day after day. But it occurs to me that actually many people in our society actually live their lives like that. Okay, they're not locked up, um, but they do do the same things. Day out, they meet the same people, they go the same places, they do the same work, they eat the same food and uh, life actually is very regimented and routine. I just feel that life's not kind of meant to be like that and I know many of you feel the same way. As entrepreneurs, we've taken uh, you know, a really tangible, meaningful step to break free from that kind of daily routine. When we all set up our businesses, we did it because we aspired to a level of freedom. Okay, it's a different freedom to that that was enticingly sat just a mile and a half offshore for the convicts on this island, but we wanted, whether it was financial freedom or time with our families or to do the, the things that we enjoy and the hobbies that we had, freedom was a key part of us setting up our own businesses. And that's why I wanted just to talk and reflect on it a little bit today, because a lot of people, you know, with a business, who are business owners, and notionally at least are entrepreneurs, haven't actually got a business, they've got a job. Do you know why they've got a job? Because they go to the same place at the same time every day of every week and they do the same things and they meet the same people and their business is the same today as it was three or four or five or seven years ago and we both know that that business will be the same for many people in three or four or five or seven years time and sure they're not locked up and nothing life is nothing not as grim as it is here on Alcatraz but they're imprisoned all the same and that seems to me such a tragic waste particularly for those that still harbour that aspiration that ambition to achieve real freedom and that's what the entrepreneur circle is all about I am absolutely committed to helping you achieve freedom through your business I'm very fortunate that you know, my business is delivering you know a large extent of the freedom that I aspired to when I set it up kind of nine years ago now I'm just reaching the end now we're gonna get a few days left of what has been a five-week trip with Sue and Cameron and Elliot and Tabitha and Fabian. It's been an amazing family holiday, by far the best uh, kind of holiday vacation I've ever had. And it's been brought about because my business has been able to deliver to me that freedom. And for many others, that freedom I know is as tantalizingly close as it was for the convicts here on Alcatraz. You know, it was only a mile and a half offshore. They could hear the laughter, the music, the activity coming across from the city of San Francisco and they could probably hear a few seagulls as well. And for you with your own business, if you haven't yet got that level of freedom, either financial freedom or time freedom that you aspired to when you set up your business, then let me tell you now, in 2011 and 2012, it is just as tantalizingly close as ever. There's never been a better time with more opportunity. There's never been more tools available with the right knowledge and application for you to achieve the success that you want with your business that will deliver you the freedom uh, that is there for you to exploit. So quite a profound message. I hope it's come across in the right company. It certainly made me think a lot this morning about what my business is about and what it's all for. I hope this episode has done the same for you. Take a moment perhaps and just think about what it is that you do want to 
achieve and aspire to have clarity of a goal and share that with myself or with Mark or Phil or one of the members of my team or perhaps with your local BGA because he or she is as committed as I am to helping you get where you want to get to. That's NBTV for this week, all the way from Alcatraz. I'm back with at least, I think, one more episode in our kind of American series because uh, I'm off to New York next on the way home. We've got four days in the Big Apple and there's bound to be an episode from there coming at you next week. Uh, until then, uh, have a great week. Um, don't lose sight of what you went into business for and... Um, <laughs> to use another movie analogy, uh, not Clint Eastwood this time, of course, but Mel Gibson. And I've gone all the way back to Scotland, okay, because it's all about freedom!